Hello everyone, this is Ted Schmitz with AUSPL and we're going to go over a couple of things in the Horizon template for AUSPL. Uh, this is the uh, web-based platform that uh, helps generate the reports that we deliver to our members um, so that they can see the condition of their building. Um, Alright, so let's jump in. First thing you are going to see, uh, if you go to the URL that I gave you at uh, discoverhorizon.com, it'll kind of add some of this stuff later, but uh, it'll just jump you to a login screen. You should have a username and password that I've provided you with. Hit enter here and we just go in. Uh, chances are you won't see all these inspectors. These are all the uh, current inspections I have going all across the country. So let me just uh, see this. Uh, change it to just see my inspections. Great. Uh, it looks like this is the uh, phony one I made, but you'll you'll see something like this if you have two inspections going or if you have one uh, But either way just uh, you'll see work order. You'll see report. You want to click on report All right, so once we are in report there are a couple things you want to do um, First thing we want to start with is is an often missed section and it is the summary it's the first page of the report and it, it should immediately tell the member uh, what the general condition of their building in it is in and if there are any major uh, maintenance concerns you know like if you see a, a leak in the roof that's gonna you're gonna want to put that in the summary um, if there's you know some minor cracking of the parking lot that doesn't seem like it's really going to affect uh, some of the uh, functioning and maybe it's sealed in that's not such a big deal we leave that later on in the report but anyways let's start with a summary uh, let's see here in this uh, second row of uh, tabs if you include this as the first one uh, we have uh, report publishing we're gonna click on that and we're gonna go over here where it says the summary slash bottom line just go to that click on edit summary and you will see it's already basically pre-filled in for you. Here we have some uh, periods, you know, kind of indicating a blank space. So, you know, here's kind of our boilerplate sentence the facility is in. You know, you say good condition or, you know, fair condition. Whatever you think, it, you know, sort of, if it's in poor condition, that's a, that's a whole other thing. Um, you know, we'll go through and say that the building is well built and uh, it's also uh, sort of uh, well maintained you know if all is good um, built in about you know typically we, we get a number that says uh, we get a date that says when the Postal Service has occupied it uh, on, on our database but you will often see a placard at the post office um, and if you've taken a picture of that you may know um, these can be older buildings so let's say it's built in uh, 1974 um, put a period there and then we have this is pretty important the following issues require attention in the short term and there's a dash then a blank so you say there are uh, missing shingles on the roof uh, leaks were observed requires oh that's a typo. Uh, requires uh, uh, the attention slash service of a licensed roofer, you know? And then you just go from there, you know? You kind of maybe give them a little bit of space so it's a little easier to read. Um, but other than that, you know, let's put the, the next thing here. It says, uh, uh, a handicap ramp uh, too steep uh, according to smart level read. Oh, got another little, you know, you want to make sure that this is all looking good. Um, uh, should only be 2%. Let's imagine you saw the, that the, Parking lot ramp was sloped at some four percent or whatnot. You know that's gonna that's gonna cause an issue for for some certain uh, customers. And with uh, you know we we want to though it's not a full ADA review. Uh, we do want to make sure that these uh, very basic requisite things with regard to ADA are covered. And those are 
Um, you have those in your uh, guide on how to do this um, on the educational material. If you talk to the postmaster, save, the, uh, save their comments here. The postmaster reports that the building is in good condition and maintenance has always uh, been performed promptly. And you don't need an exclamation. You know, something like that. All right. So when you're done with these comments, you know, fill it out. Say say what you think the post. Uh, say what you th think the building owner should know. And then you're just going to want to hit click save and back here. Now, uh, that's that's been loaded in here, and uh, and it'll uh, just automatically populate when the report opens. So once you're done with that, let's go back to report writing and let's try to fill out a section here. Uh, as the site starts, uh, you. This is just the outside of the building, you know, the parking lot, stuff like that. So uh, we start with a general uh, uh, general item of the site, you know, say uh, if, if you got something to say here, uh, preferably you just make a little bit of a note to it. So just click blank item uh, and then you can say your notes here and they will be added immediately uh, to this line. So you say the site was in good condition and uh, there were few defects noted uh, as they pay special attention to missing parking curbs you know something minor like that you could just put in there um, and right here um, you'll see on a number of items you'll see this asterisk here Landscaping asterisk. That's going to indicate a required photograph, and you're going to want to put uh, you're going to want to put something for that. So uh, let's uh, let's start here. This is going to be the first time we load photographs in. We can do them all at once, actually, which makes this pretty cool. So let's say there's a positive drainage away from building. That's pretty typical, and that's very good. So we click that, and then we're going to want to uh, modify it or edit it. Uh, so that's what this little pencil icon is for. Click that pencil. And we don't see any photos right here. That's all right. We just go up here to load photos. Uh, once we're there, uh, just like any other standard form, kind of on uh, any web platform, you've got a browse button here that's going to take us into your computer. If you've taken the pictures uh, with a digital camera, you got them on a memory card, you can just put them in a folder. That's good. If you've taken them on your phone, um, uh, you can uh, hopefully transfer those over to your computer or uh, on your app if you've taken the pictures uh, through the app they'll automatically be loaded in here so that's good too but let's for now uh, click browse and on my uh, on my desktop here it's got quite a few files on it but I already made a folder that's called AZ sample photos so look at this uh, this is from a building I did in uh, in, in Ash Fork yeah, Arizona so let's uh, open this all right, we got quite a few pictures there. Uh, this can take a little bit of a while. Um, and maybe I'll just fast forward through this section if, it, if it's going to take us too long. <clears throat> all right, I think we can all agree that took too long. But uh, when I make the video, I'll fast forward through it so it, it'll be somewhat bearable. Um, and I should have probably only included a couple pictures because I'm not doing the full report. But nonetheless, you can see all the pictures I took while on site. These include pictures from my digital camera uh, and some from my phone. Uh, you can see one of our uh, inspectors here. I followed him around, took pictures. Um, uh, he'll kind of show up every now and then. Uh, thanks to my special talent there. All right, so uh, right here we have uh, positive drainage away from the building. Right now, there are a lot of pictures in this report. As you go through them, uh, you can uncheck all photos there. Um, and so you're, as you click through here, when you select a photograph, it'll start to take it out of this gallery. So, so over time, you know, kind of it'll, it'll select out uh, all these images. You can get a little preview if you hover over and say, oh, okay, that was, the, that was the front door, that was inside there. Right now I want to find a picture of the site that shows some drainage away from the building. I know I did have a picture of it. Uh, it's, uh, it's green and somewhere, oh, there was a dog when I was there. 
that's interesting. Um, but uh, not the relevant. So look at here. Uh, this one I'm actually uh, probably going to use uh, maybe twice in the report. Um, so I'll need to duplicate this later and add and just uh, you know browse through and re-upload this one later um, because this both indicates two things. It shows positive drainage away from building, but it also shows uh, a hazard here. It's leaking debris all over the uh, public sidewalk. Nonetheless, uh, let's just click that. We've got uh, positive drainage away from building. You see this uh, kind of fills itself in automatically. That's very good. That means that when the photo is loaded, it's going to have this caption right below it. That's good. And then any note you make is going to show up in the text part of the uh, of the report. So you say, uh, you know, uh, the site has good positive drainage. Uh, away from a uh, building and you may want to say however uh, even if you're going to write this twice you know it's good because because people can miss something while, while they write the report so like there's a there's a defect or observations tab we'll get to later but nonetheless right here you just want to say however uh, the um, the site is leaving debris on the public uh, walkway. This is definitely an issue that our member will want to know about. You know, maybe they can get some type of sandbag or better landscaping. Um, because uh, that can that can be a serious problem. You know, you don't want anybody to fall or slip out there. So that looks good. We've got the caption here. And we've got the note here. Hit save and close. And voila, look, it's right here. Do not click this blue button. Uh, that will delete the item. Click on this note right here and it'll show you your item, it shows you your notes, takes you back to that same uh, page we were on. Uh, so if that looks good or you know maybe you want to change the, the caption, uh, hit save and close. It'll take us back. Uh, you know, we'll keep going. Uh, site drainage um, looks like uh, it was surface runoff, as you can see there. Looks, uh, look at this right here, customer parking lot, asterisk. So we need, uh, so now we know uh, if there is a uh, photograph needed for the, for the customer parking lot. So uh, I remember the building, it had a concrete uh, parking lot, it was fairly small, uh, but we'll click concrete, we will click the modifier edit button here, little pencil, and we are back into our gallery here. Um, and you're just going to want to go through your photos uh, if you can uh, kind of remember what it looked like. Um, there's one, but I know I've got a, I know I've got a better one of this parking lot. So let me see. Scroll through all my pictures here. Look at that. That is the parking lot there, uh, customer parking lot, and we get the side of the building too. You can see that. Uh, you can see that stray dog that was there while we were taking pictures. Kind of about. Uh, that was a nice little. Uh, you know, treat to the work day. Nonetheless, uh, you'll see it, it automatically fills in with concrete, which is the item we already selected for the type of parking lot it is. Um, unfor uh, unfortunately, we kind of want a little bit more information here in the caption, uh, because when you look down at the photos, it's just going to show this picture and the word concrete, and that may not tell us enough. So what we're going to do is uh, uh, we'll go past concrete and we'll say concrete uh, customer parking lot. You know, just so that when you're lower in the report uh, and you're not maybe in the site uh, section, and if you're down below uh, where all the lo where all the photos are loaded in, uh, you'll then be able to make sense of this a little bit easier. Uh, right here, it'll say concrete parking lot. Uh, maybe you want to say continued, uh, and maybe you want to say that this was on the. Um, let me think. This is probably on the west uh, on the west wall. Or you can call it West View, you know, whatever, whatever your preferred uh, nomenclature is, and then you you put it here in the notes. Uh, oh, lost it a little bit. Sorry, I just bumped my trackpad. All right, so go back to the notes and say uh, uh, concrete parking lot was in uh, poor condition nearing end of functional life. And when you have notes like this, um, it's just good to have here um, because we're, we're going to uh, make a make an observation about it uh, 
and give a recommendation that will also add this right up to the, to the summary later. But nonetheless, just put that note in there. Keep that in mind because uh, we've got a few of these to do. Go through each of these items and do that. You know, handicap parking. Um, let's see. You know, we got a maximum slope uh, less than two percent. That's good. If you can take a picture, uh, you know, I've got a smart level. I you can you can uh, find a an iPhone app does pretty well. Um, so uh, let's see, handicap. This one was kind of interesting. It was actually completely flush because the ground went down and the handicap ramp went straight. Uh, maximum slope lesson. Uh, uh, so then we'll say ramp is in good condition meets slope. Whoa, typo. Slope requirements. Good, look at that. You know, and you're just gonna cruise through the report like this, just filling out the sections. Pay special attention to these ones with asterisks. If you don't have a photo of this thing, or if it was not uh, relevant, like let's say um, there's no employee parking lot. Uh, in this one, the kind of uh, uh, parking lot, the employee parking lot, and customer parking lot are basically the same thing. So you're just gonna want to go here. There's no, there's not gonna be a different condition for it. So you you just want to write. Uh, same as customer parking so then they can refer to that above and you won't need to put a picture in here it'll be accounted for people understand that uh, asterisk here uh, postal vehicle maneuvering area say uh, you know the uh, same as customer parking as well and that looks good um, just go through and uh, you know finish this up signage flagpole you know now once you're done with your description for any given section, you know, we've got uh, the site, utilities, roof, exterior, you know, you've got all the, all the, all the areas. You're just going to want to go through, click them, make your notes. Um, should take, um, you know, maybe an hour or so. If you do note a defect, go to this tab, observations and recommendations general if something just very big and broad has happened that's terrible write it here site drainage storm water evidence of ponding right here remember when we saw that there was some uh, uh, some of the some of the site runoff the water was leaving uh, some crud all over the sidewalk so uh, we are both going to put that in here uh, we've got some evidence of ponding uh, you can see where it is this was on the north, uh, on the, uh, wasn't really the first floor because there, uh, there are stairs that lead to the, to the, to the place. Um, but uh, you just put this here. Um, it's not going to be in any, any things here, but, you know, repair or replace, uh, you know, discretionary, you know, it's up to their, uh, it's up to the discretion of the, of the owner. You don't, you don't always have to do, um, to fill these in. Uh, these these recommendations, you know, um, actually, I more than discretionary. I actually like if necessary. Uh, that's very good. Um, dollar amount. If you know off the top of your head, if it's a major repair or minor repair, that's good. But you don't need to be recommending the cost of repairs. Um, uh, but you may want to recommend, you know, someone you work with. If you know somebody in maintenance, that's always good. Uh, but nonetheless, let's just go next here, um, and then. Uh, you want to, uh, like I said earlier, you know, I had that picture. You don't want to reload that. Uh, let's see. Here we go. This is showing some of this stuff. Or, uh, there we go. Evidence of bonding. Uh, debris on the sidewalk. Look at that. Um, site. Lost me again. Let's go to the notes, click on that. Site runoff leaves debris in uh, or on public walkway. Um, click that. You get the picture there. Uh, customer parking lot, as we remember, is near the end of its life. That's good to know. Next, click that. Uh, Cracked and damaged parking lot should be repaired. 
Great. Put that in the notes. That'll put that in here. You can put another picture if you had uh, that really shows it. Sidewalk status, uh, trip hazard, uh, right that it's, you know, on the north, uh, and it's, um, you're going to want to, uh, um, repair or replace if necessary. So, uh, let's go next. All right. Uh, the sidewalk has debris on it. Uh, debris from site runoff presents trip hazard when uh, uh, no, nah, we'll just leave that presents trip hazard. That looks pretty good. Save and close that, and then uh, from there uh, we have this thing called inspection methods and limitations. Uh, you will want to say if you were limited to the site by something, let's say there was a locked gate that neither the postmaster nor the building owner had access to, you know, maybe they uh, share a split the space, I don't know. Uh, any number of uh, uh, limitations you may have if you don't get into the attic or something, you'll have a section for that later. Um, nonetheless, uh, that's basically what you're going to do, you know, now you're just going to go through uh, site utilities. Make sure you always go back to description first. Uh, utilities, description, you know, then you go through electricity, you see the overhead, uh, the overhead electricity. Click that, find a picture of it, make your notes. Uh, if you got any observations or recommendations, if there's something wrong uh, with uh, any of the public wells or the electricity, let them know. Inspection methods uh, limited. Let me show you when there is something that's uh, limited. Roof inspected by, you know, you're going to want to put this on a uh, ladder from the edge, like if you didn't go up there. So it knows that you didn't actually walk up there to see if the roof was soft or if there was any problem like that. Um, so that looks good, you know, and just go through. Um, another thing to keep in mind is to make sure that you are on, that you start the report right here on section two. Uh, we don't want to fill out section one. And in fact, on mine, everything on my end uh, I've disabled this, uh, and that's a setting that I can show you how to do to uh, keep yourself safe from that, like let's say on your second or third report. Um, but what I like to do is I like to, you know, we're starting at two, hit default screen. Uh, that DS button means that every time you log in to this report, it's going to start at this screen. Um, now, as you go through electrical, you're saying, oh shoot, where's the interior? No problem, just go from two to three. There it is, and you have all the descriptions for the interior, full service lobby, full service lobby, self-service and box lobbies, you're going to see all this. You got the workroom, you know, that's the big inside room of the building, that's the, that's the primary, you know, that's the brain or the heart or whatever you want to call it of the, uh, of the post office. Then you go through here, you got platform stuff, uh, in addition to what was already on the platform, because this just pertains to the wall finishes and the floor finishes, like what we're concerned about. Uh, with the interior kind of repairs. So uh, once that's done, uh, it looks pretty good. Um, we are going to uh, go to the report publishing, but not uh, before I show you how to turn off those, turn off this residential section, because that can be a real nuisance if you fill all these residential sections out, and then at the end of the report, they're not even gonna be generated. You basically just do twice as much work for nothing. So let's go up here. Let's go to profile, down, 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 down. See here it says first nine system tabs because the, these are the default tabs that come with every Horizon uh, template. Just that may be on, click that to off. Then you're good. Uh, then you go back. Um, let's see, you may want to go uh, back to home because you already clicked out of here. Um, and then go to your report. All of your uh, all of your info uh, that you've previously logged. Um, let's make this one the default screen. Actually, uh, should be there. And to check your work, click here on Preview, and you will get a preview report that you can see that is actually functional. So you see it's prepared for this member, inspection date goes there, it's prepared by me, the inspector, 
Now look at this, you've got each tab for all the stuff you've put in. There's your summary right there. There are your notes from the summary. Go to site. Oh, look at this. It's all filled in, looks pretty good. You got your notes there. They want to look at this from the landscaping. Click on the picture, it'll take you down here. Oh, positive uh, drainage away from building. Great, that looks pretty good. Uh, and then click this again, it'll take you right back up. Site drainage, got surface runoff, you know. So then it's just going to start filling stuff like this out. Uh, right there, you only have the methods and limitations fill out for the roof. But, you know, each section is going to be completely filled out like this. Observations and recommendations, so it knows what the problem is. Goes there. Uh, photos, this is always at the bottom of the port. And anytime you click a photo, uh, number four right here, handicap ramp at maximum slope. If you click it, it'll take you right to the report. Boom, it's right there. So that's basically everything you need to know uh, going through one of these reports. I will uh, put uh, uh, time codes in the description so you can kind of skip around to each section. Um, once uh, you think this looks good, um, if it's your first report, just send me an email, uh, ted at auspl.com, telling me you've finished, um, and, I will, and I will check it over uh, or have our staff here uh, look it over, and then once we approve that, we'll send it to the member. Um, but uh, if you've done this before, just go to Report Publishing. That looks good. Uh, and you are going to want to hit uh, either Generate or Complete. If you hit Complete, it'll take it off your in-progress queue, and it will send it straight to the member. Uh, generate, you can just hit uh, OK to generate a report there. It'll take you to the screen. Who is it going to go to? Uh, this is going to go to Ted at AUSPL.com. Uh, you know, let's say I was the owner here. Even though it's actually, this is the name I came up for the owner. Uh, it has a default um, email here, you know, looks good. If you uh, have any things you want to change in here, whatever, you can change those. And then you send the email. It's going to go through and it will get added to my... Uh, email inbox good looks good and uh, you may want to go if you feel like you're all done here either go back to report writing or go back to work order or go back to doing whatever you were doing anyways um, if you sat through the, the whole thing or if this is your first time uh, I know that, that goes into some length of what we're doing there but it covers basically every function of the report um, other than that um, if you've read all the material, you kind of know what we're looking for in a sample report. You know, you want to make sure that, um, you know, right off the bat, we see each side of the building, the, you know, the north, east, west, south uh, walls, very clear photographs of each. And then uh, you move from there, just fill out all the required areas. Um, and we should be good. If you have any questions, please always email me ted at auspl.com. I'll be able to help you out or I can get you in touch with uh, any folk at Horizon or with the Postal Service or with our member uh, who will be able to answer your questions if I can't. All right, so um, that's it. And uh, thank you again for being a part of the AUSPL uh, inspection program. Thank you.